Hi, good morning. Quick question. Why is everybody gushing over Saltburn? Because no offense, but I did not have a good time with that movie. There are a few general reasons for that and one very specific reason that I have to talk about. So spoiler warning, but I'm not going to waste time recapping the whole movie. So first of all, all of the characters were annoying and I didn't care about any of them. The rich people were like, ill, poor people, so they suck. And then Oliver was obnoxious. Every time he was on screen, I just hated him. I hated his vibe. He was like a little worm. And then I assumed Felix was an asshole because he's played by the same guy from Euphoria. But then I had the opposite problem where there were two actresses that I liked in other things, but that didn't translate to being interested in their character in this movie at all. So I watched the whole movie not caring about any of the characters or what happened to them. I also didn't care for the gross scenes. I just started skipping forward through them because they were going on for so long. This whole movie was so long. One of the scenes is when Oliver comes to the room of this guy who I don't even remember his name. He might have been like a cousin or something, but he hated Oliver this whole summer. But Oliver comes to him in the middle of the night and starts touching him and the guy just goes with it. And I don't understand that. I cannot wrap my head around letting this creepy weirdo just like wake you up and get you off and just like being cool with that I don't get it which is kind of my third reason I don't understand this movie at all on any level maybe I'm dumb because everybody else seems to like this movie so that probably means I'm the wrong one but I don't get what it was trying to say I don't get the point I didn't see the commentary I didn't enjoy any scenes in particular I didn't feel anything I was just annoyed and bored and honestly getting really impatient because I was waiting for vampires. Yeah, that's my biggest reason why I didn't like this movie is because I went into it and kept thinking for a large portion of the runtime that there would be actual vampires in it. So I'd seen banner ads for Saltburn and I knew people were talking about it and my friend mentioned watching it, but I didn't know what this movie was about. I just know that I went out to Tumblr one day and through a sea of Saltburn posts, I saw the words, white dude, killing, family, and everyone at the table. And out of that, I thought that there would be vampires in this movie and that Oliver would kill them. And I pictured it like the end of Ready or Not when they're all around the table, except Oliver had just killed all the vampires who were trying to feed on him. So as I was watching, I was fully thinking like, okay, Felix is bringing Oliver home to his family's house so that his family of vampires can feast on him at the end of summer. And they were even going to throw him a party that I thought was for sure a ceremony where they would try to drink his blood. And the girl made a comment like, oh, we're cold-blooded. And I was like, yeah, vampires are cold. And Oliver came back and he says, oh, something about him being a vampire. And I was like, oh, Oliver, you don't even know. I thought they were trying to be clever. But no, the family didn't end up being vampires. They were just people, regular human people boring. The real twist is that Oliver was lying about his tragic backstory that I didn't care about to begin with. And instead of leaving this lying creepy weirdo with his healthy and both of life parents, Felix takes him back to the party. And so Oliver kills him. Obviously, he's the only one that knew the truth. And then Oliver continues to kill the rest of the family in accident so that he ends up with the house. And I am so confused. Did a sick, rich, mourning widow sign over her family's entire estate to a guy that her son brought home for the summer and like nobody thought that was weird and then she died and he just gets this mansion and no one questions it is that what happened uh, and why did he want the house to begin with it's huge and obnoxious it's a house so big that you need a staff to maintain it you want other people in your house my favorite thing about my house is that there are no other people in it and it takes me eight seconds to get from my bedroom to my living room. That travel time, you can't beat it. This mansion, you're spending so much time just moving room from room. And he's doing it naked, too. Why? I don't understand. Why is he so weird? And why did I waste my time watching this movie? I didn't like it. Whatever. Everyone else seemed to like this movie, but I kind of wish I didn't watch it. Maybe I was just in a really bad mood when I watched it. Or maybe it should have had actual vampires.